Toss it over to Craig Herrera to see if we have any more snow in the forecast for oh. opening day and what these wind gusts are going to do up here, Craig. All right, Vanessa, some of those wind gusts were close to 60 miles per hour. And you said Thanksgiving, and that's just a little more than a week away. I'm excited. <laughs> Great job. Get in there, and uh, we look forward to opening day. Let's get started because uh, today, boy, down here, we had showers, we had thunderstorm, and look at this. Tara Christine sent us this video. You can hear the hail. Hear that coming down? Yeah, that was in Sammamish. Look at that, right about 6.30 this evening. A lot of you had some thunderstorms this evening. Look at that. Uh, as we look at the radar right now, we uh, the lightning strikes that came through about 6.15, 6.20, started close to Tacoma, continued to go up to the north and northeast. You can see that line of thunderstorms producing some hail, some gusty winds. And now we've got another line coming up again from the southwest moving to the northeast. And I showed this to you earlier, but within these cells, especially once you get into those shades of red, you've got some heavy rain coming down, potentially some small hail as well. Moving up and down all the way to Hood Canal, Paulsbo, you're getting some rain, but heavy round headed your direction as well. We do have some snow in the higher elevations, snowfall levels tonight, right about 4,000 feet. They will drop to about 3,000 feet tomorrow and uh, stay there about 3,500 feet to 3,000 feet by the evening. A couple of scattered showers up to the north and of course the rain shadow effect really going on again for Whidbey Island, Camano Island. Uh, we had some gusty winds along the San Juans today. I've got some a look at some of the wind gusts in about 30 minutes minutes or so. Got some uh, pretty decent rain coming down from Discovery Bay to Squim, Port Angeles. And then as you look at the big picture, you've got one piece of energy rotating our direction. All of those little popcorn like clouds off to the left, kind of piecemeal looking. That is some unstable there wrapping around coming our direction tomorrow. And I do think we have the chance for isolated thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. 1030 this evening, you can see the rain moving through through about uh, midnight or so some heavy downpours. Then comes another round five o'clock, seven o'clock morning commute, pretty wet 9 a.m. Then by the time we get to 12, a lot of this starts to lift out of here. We get some sun breaks. You bring in that unstable air and bam, you've got a couple of thunderstorms in the mix tomorrow. Now estimated rainfall totals. You can see about a quarter of an inch to seven tenths of an inch of rain. Rain shadow effect again, places like Oak Harbor, Camino Island. Uh, so mountains tomorrow, we will add one to five inches of fresh snow at pass level. And look at Selena Rose and Zoe. Thank you so much for sending that picture in, that picture taken uh, by Deanna Collins. And that's one of our King 5 alums, Donna Lee Rutledge. Thank you for sending that picture in. Hey, we've got a look at the seven day forecast with 50s for a couple of days. We do get a bit of a break as we go into Thursday and Friday, but we've got a couple of scattered showers each day. Day. Jessica and Greg, and it looks like another good soaker next Monday with more wind. All right, Craig, thanks. You got it. Here's what's coming.